I can show you a bit of the things that I do. Baseball this morning, like just now. It's my work day today and I just thought I should bring you along with me. I'm gonna have a double shift. So I'll be doing a PM shift, like an afternoon shift, and then go straight to night shift. So I'm gonna come home tomorrow at around 7.15 a.m. Whenever I do night shifts, I have a bit of a breathing time. So I could talk to you. I could show you a bit of the things that I do um, at work. So I thought maybe I'll bring you along. We'll see if I can show you some stuff um on this shift so that's what i'm gonna do so just in a bit of a hurry i'm also not feeling very well today i woke up a bit late and i feel like my body's a bit sore We finally arrived at work and as you can see, it's quite a bit of distance from the bus stop to our work car park where our entrance is. So we have to pass in here because we have to log in our temperature before entering the facility. It's the COVID season as we all know and we do not want to spread those nasties to our residents. Going up the elevator. First thing I do, of course, is log in because, girl, we want to be paid. Then I go to the staff room, put my lunch or dinner in the fridge. What do you mean for? And enjoy this clip of me struggling to refill my water bottle with one hand. So today, I'm rostered to be the nurse in charge on two floors with more or less 40 residents each floor and at the same time, the RN on call. So if there are any problems in our other areas, the other RNs can always call me for help. She's staying until 9? Uh, yep. Yeah, I can ask her. Can you just extend other care staff? Try first and then I'll see later what we can do. Oh, uh, okay. All okay, right. bye. Right now, I'm doing handover. Basically, the previous shift nurse gives a shift report to the next nurse and we hand this over to our care staff. someone from hospital oh. it's just the good busy there's a busy busy where you literally have no time at all to eat and everything but this one's like the good busy i've been running up and down because i'm the rn on call so i work on two floors the morning staff handed over quite a few falls so i'd have to monitor their vital signs and their condition if they're in any pain we had three falls in the morning so three residents had a fall and then this afternoon we had one fall she was okay she just lost her balance good thing she didn't hit her head she didn't have any injury so that's all good i just did the paperwork and informed the family place on the doctor's list for tomorrow one of our resident who was sent to hospital this morning because of, of an episode of unresponsiveness um came back so i'm just gonna eat because i'm really starving <laughs> having a quick break i might snooze for a bit because i'm really tired and my head's aching so badly Ah. 
I'm home uh, from my night shift. I'm just gonna take a quick shower. I'll probably do a half bath and then I'm gonna go to bed straight away because I'm really tired. So I have these blinds which are really helpful. These ones really help me simulate the night time. And then I have this one which I usually pull down. So this actually helps me pretend like it's night time so my body could go to sleep straight away. Although I think my body can sleep anyway. At you, you make me blush and I put up my walls so my heart won't get crushed Cause when you're looking in my eyes, it's like I'm walking on thin ice And if you can't tell, I'm not acquainted with love that well It's a game that I never learned to play, but when you look my way, it's like I'm known Okay, I am just... <sighs> Okay, I'm just quickly gonna head out, um, do my daily walks because I haven't gone to the gym today. My body's too tired for that. So I'm just gonna do a walk. I was gonna do a walk with Queenie, but we don't work at the same place, but she also did a night shift uh, the morning after she attended the meeting. So I feel like she's really tired. So I'll just let her sleep. And look, garage is empty, so the other housemates aren't here. Queenie and I do not drive. I want to drive, but I don't know if I've told you before, but the fare for, hold on, let me just check my Google Maps, which way to go. We're going to Makalum Park. Okay, just straight away from here. Please look at the sky. Wow. The camera doesn't even give it justice, but that's how it looks tonight. So, as I was saying, the fare for when I'm riding a bus is really cheap. Because I'm a student, so I have concession fees much cheaper than a regular fee. So I save so much more. Like, I just pay cents for when I travel to somewhere and then back home. So that's really very handy. Um... In comparison to having a car, you'd have to pay insurance for in case something gets broken or you get into an accident or something. And then, you'd have to pay for gasoline, which is like $50 a week or something. Like I'm walking on thin ice And if you can't tell, I'm not acquainted with love that well Have you had them for a long time? Is she friendly? Did she bite? No. And what I'm trying to say is if you're gonna make a moon stop waiting, cause I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. So tell me how I play it cool. 